Channel 1 slash 2 slash 3 preset temperature for fast switch. You can also adjust the temperature and airflow as you like. Adjust the temperature and airflow first. Heat small components with the vertical wind hot air gun. The wind speed is uniform and the operating temperature is stable. Remove small components with tweezers. Then put the vertical wind hot air gun on the holder. Turn the power switch off. The hot air gun can convert between vertical wind and helical wind. All you need to do is replace the nozzle. What's more, the hot air gun features excellent heat dissipation structure. You can replace the nozzle after powering off and waiting for one minute. Tips, do not touch the nozzle when replacing. Get the vertical wind nozzle stuck in the metal stand. Hold the hot air gun holder with one hand, rotate the hot air gun handle with the other hand. Meantime, pull out the handle by some force. Continue to get the helical wind nozzle stuck in the metal stand. Plug the handle into the helical wind nozzle. Then rotate the hot air gun handle. Meantime, stuff the handle into the nozzle. So that the handle can be fitted to the nozzle. Once done, put the helical wind hot air gun on the holder. Turn the power switch on. Adjust the temperature and airflow first. Then heat CPU evenly with the helical wind hot air gun. One minute later, pick up CPU with tweezers. Channel 1 slash 2 slash 3 preset temperature for fast switch. You can also adjust the temperature as you like. Adjust the temperature first. Clean the bonding pad of CPU with a soldering iron. The operating temperature of the tip is stable. There is no paste caking when dragging the solder paste across the pad. Connect the battery connector with a DC power supply. Turn the power switch on. Set the output voltage range within 5 volts by toggling the switch. Set the output current range within 3 amps by toggling the switch. Tips, please pay special attention to the output voltage you set. You might damage the logic board with improper setting. The 5 volts voltage range is for mobile phone repair, whereas the 15 volts voltage range is for MacBook repair. Continue to adjust the voltage knob to set the output voltage, 3.8 volts to 4.2 volts. Get the motherboard powered on by tweezers. Movement of the pointer on the front panel will be an indicator of the booting current.